All right, let's try this out. So what's pretty cool about this bamboo is it is creating, I think I already have a cold. Yeah, I do. It's, it's creating a lot of airflow. I just want to keep going. Oh yeah, man, I definitely see one. Huge coal on that. Creates a lot of airflow. Man, that's a lot of dust too. Oh man, I got a coal there and a coal over here. That worked pretty well pretty lightweight design to give a person tropical alternatives so if you didn't have stone or a stone that you could mold into a weight then bamboo would be a good option now I'm not using a rock here and the reason for that you're not always going to have a rock that you can balance out and use. This one's almost a pound and a half, 1.4 pounds. That's what I used in the other video. But what if you don't have a rock? Can you use a log? Well, I just took a segment of bamboo. Now I haven't weighed this, but that segment of bamboo is not very long. So that's 18 inches long. And the problem with that is it's so long that it can come in contact. You saw the position that I was sitting in and it, some people may not be able to sit that way and that's okay you can still use this method you're just gonna have to tie your fireboard down to something maybe tie it down to a log maybe even get into a standing position the spindle itself let me move that it's 26 inches which I thought was gonna be too short but turns out those shorter strokes so range of motion here is I probably moved that bar. Let's measure that as well so we can get an exact measurement. So the distance that was traveling was roughly about 12 inches. Now you're going to get some stretch and that was good. Now I didn't get as many spins before I had to push down again, but it gave me more time for downward pressure. Now I'm using yucca. So yucca is a low ignition wood. So it may not be a good technique with other woods. Let's go over how to create this. Series of clove hitches, binding knots, another series of clove hitch to close that out. Clove hitch with two or three half hitches clove hitch with two or three half hitches here at the top we've got about 12 inches from the top of the wrap down to where the bar stops we've got a hole carved with adequate movement so it doesn't get bound up if you change the angle we've got a spindle made of yucca that's about half inch in diameter Ideally, after you get your dust created, you can start off with three quarter inch, but carve this down so that your spindle doesn't bind up by getting too deep. So start off with something like that, build your dust, then carve it down back to about that size, just enough so it won't pop out. But you would start it off at, at about a half inch once you've created your dust. And then here's our coal. I just use this to to keep the coal on that's it pretty simple about 18 inches of bamboo you may have to tire your fireboard down to something if you can't get in a seated position where your legs are crossed holding the fireboard down and that would give somebody especially somebody that doesn't have that range of motion the ability to use this technique maybe even standing, get them in a comfortable position, tie it on a limb, 
that is horizontal to the ground and get them in a nice comfortable position because teaching these skills you're going to have some individuals that either don't have the physical ability like they don't have the muscle endurance maybe they've been sedentary or they're suffering from disease or they have some sort of uh, disability and so the more methods I can have the more options I can have in class so this would be good for somebody that doesn't have a lot of muscle endurance yes it's not as good as a bow drill bow drill would be my preferred method but it does require some technique and you can do modifications to it to make it easier so somebody doesn't have to get in an awkward position when sitting my next would be a fire roll but the problem with fire roll is finding materials for it and same thing for the hand drill hand drill is a good option the fire roll does require some physical endurance short bursts but i found almost all my students can do it even some that have disabilities like i had an individual that was paralyzed on one side and the fire roll was perfect for him so he could sit down get in a comfortable position and do a fire roll the problem with these pump drills it's a lot of work takes a lot of cordage to use this so a lot of materials um, a lot of these materials need to be specific meaning low ignition wood low ignition fireboard so that you're not spending a, a, a lot of effort yes you could get this with cedar and willow but it's going to take longer yucca soto those are probably going to be your best options for low ignition woods maybe even mullen with a cottonwood fireboard so i'll have to try different combinations but the moral of this story is the more options you have especially if you're going to teach this stuff the better off your students are going to be because you're going to find yes the vast majority of, of students can do certain skills but you're always going to have that small percentage that can't and the more tools you have the better off you'll be the better off your students will be and that's also going to apply in survival so if they actually have to use these skills in the wild the more options they have even though some aren't super practical it might be the only option they have so that's why I like to not over specialize because if you over specialize you're going to create a weakness 